Davy. My Davy was just the love of my life. We met when I was 18. He was 23. We were married 44 years. We had four children and nine grandchildren. And um, we went to Spain for Davy's birthday. He made the tea and he says, there you go, Dumplin, there's your tea. And um, I said, oh, I love you, wee darling. Just it's so funny the way I remember everything about it. And he says, I love you. And he shrugged his shoulders. And he says, sure, we just love each other. And he fell back and he was gone. I went through all these things, trying to find something. And I kept thinking that if I do this, I'll fix it and Davy will come back. You know, your mind doesn't work right. And I was thinking Davy will come back and things will be sorted out. But unfortunately it didn't work. But then I went to cruise and slowly but surely it started to help. It was wonderful. You could feel the love going into the room. Everybody there was the same position that I was in. They'd all lost husbands and wives and they knew exactly how I was feeling and they knew how I felt going in. And there's something, it's hard to put into words, but there's something brilliant about that group. If I was down, I could lift the phone and ring Mary or ring Lillian or Maureen that, you know, and just say I'm sort of down the day and how are you? And before you know it, you're laughing. Anybody that I meet that has lost someone, you know, no matter who it is, I was telling them to get in touch with crews and try to join a friendship group, get out there and do it because the darkness, when you're in that place and you've just lost someone, it's the most terrible, terrible place to be. The friendship groups give me back a life. I mean, my family can say, Mummy, it's great now because they don't worry about me so much. It's eased their mind and it's given me back a bit of it's, it's more confidence. You know, now I can go on. I'll never forget Davy, I'll never get over him. But I can go on every day thinking, as I say, someday I'm going to meet him again.